good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone today the video is about xiaomi redmi 5 i am using this phone since from six months but never thought to play with it like flashing a custom recovery and then roms also, I am getting a request about flashing procedure of Xiaomi Redmi phones. Well, decided to start playing with it and finally done it and also capture the procedure in video with easy steps to make it more easy for you all. So you can also do it easily by following my steps along with the softwares that are required for the procedure. Links are in my video description for downloading. Reminding you that whatever data you have on your internal storage will get erased. All your SMS and other social media messaging will also get flushed out. Better to make a backup of your data. Save all your important data from your internal storage to your computer hard drive and back up your WhatsApp chats if you like to have it back. You will need a laptop or a desktop computer, a good quality of data cable, an internet connection or your mobile SIM data, and your Redmi 5 phone with 80 to 90% of battery charge. If you have a Google account activated, then go to account of Google and tap on sync to start sync and shall update all your last activity after sync remove the google account you may have it back after the procedure done if you have registered your xiaomi account by giving your mobile sim number then you are good to go and follow the next step but in case if you have registered the me account by providing an email id then me account will stop and will give you an error of your account is not associated with a phone number just like it happened with me as uh, i have registered my account back in 2013 with my email id now the better way to proceed is to remove the old me account which was registered with email id and make a new me account by giving your mobile sim number the one you are using it you will have to put your sim card into device and also turn on the wi-fi or mobile data now starting the procedure by making a new account by providing your mobile sim number the one you have put it into redmi phone register the new account with a new password go to your uh, settings then go to me account and uh, register your new account by providing your mobile sim number the one you are using it and you have it in your redmi phone after typing your mobile phone number and password tap the sign in Actually, I was uh, having a trouble with my Wi-Fi. So what I did, I put my other SIM card in my other mobile phone and turn on the mobile data of my other mobile phone and also turn on the hotspot. Connect my Redmi phone with that hotspot and uh, try it once again. The hotspot idea was good and it worked for me. My new me account is created by providing my mobile sim number. Now I will be moving to the next step. Now go to your computer screen and open your browser. Type en.meiui.com without typing www and when the website open go to the forum click the sign in and sign in your account that you have just created in your mobile phone the newly me account with your mobile phone number
After typing your mobile phone number and selecting your country code, then type the password and click the sign in. After signing in to your account, the activation will be required. So type your nickname, the one you like, and after giving the nickname, click activate. Congratulations, your account is activated now. Now in the MIUI forum, you will have to post two comment in two different threads. So your me account will get 100% activated. Without doing this, you will get an error of could not get info with a known error while signing in with the new me account. I have faced all these errors and finally came to know the procedure to make it work 100%. You may select any thread, the one that is open for posting comment. Go to any thread and post any comment like thank you or very nice. And after posting two comment in two different thread, then you are good to go and follow the next step. Now go back to your mobile setting of your Redmi phone, then go to about phone and uh, tap the MIUI version for the seven times to turn on the developer option. And you will see that uh, you are now a developer. Now go back and scroll down, go to the additional settings, scroll down, and you will see the developer options there. Go inside and turn on the OEM unlocking. So just below two steps, you will see that me unlock status. Tap on it. A window will appear that permissions required. Me unlock needs access to your me account, etc, etc. Just tap the agree options. Me unlock status showing that the device is locked so far and we have to associate this device with the newly created me account to get the Redmi 5 bootloader unlockable. Make sure that you having your SIM card inserted. Just tap on the add account and device. A message will pop up that preparing to add account and device and soon you're going to see add it successfully. Me account is associated with this device now. Now you can see that download the unlock tool from our website. So it is time to go on the website on internet and download few softwares on computer and we'll have to install it on windows all the links are provided in my video description just click on it and it will take you direct to the server the first software that is the me flash unlock this tool is required for unlock the boot loader this green bar click here to start download click once and soon you will see that the other green bar will be showing primary download Click once again and the software will start downloading. Make a new folder, rename it with Redmi 5 and save all the files in that folder. The second file needed to be downloaded is the Mi setup file which is having the Redmi phone's drivers and this is Mi PC suit which is needed to be installed on Windows. Same procedure of downloading. And the third file is the tools file. Same procedure of downloading and save it to the same folder. Fourth and the last file for unlocking boot loader is the ADB universal driver. And this driver needed to be installed first on the windows to get the boot loader unlock. Now go to that folder where you have saved all the files. The universal ADB driver tools for the windows, me setup file and me flash unlock files. So you will need to unzip all the files right now.
and you can see that I have unzipped all the four files. Now starting the software installation on Windows. First go to the Mi Setup folder and install the Mi Setup file by double clicking on it. This Mi PC suit software will turn on automatically if you did not close it quickly. But let the software to be open now. A notification window will pop up. Windows Firewall has blocked some features. Just allow the access. And after that, you will see the Mi PC suit on your screen. Now close this Mi PC suit right now. This Mi PC suit is required for the drivers of Redmi phones. Now go back to the downloaded folder and open the Universal ADB Driver Setup folder. Start installing the Universal ADB Driver Setup now. The procedure of software installation is completed on Windows. It's time to go back to the mobile phone, the Redmi 5. It is time to boot Redmi 5 in fast boot mode now. Power off the device first. And when you see the device is totally powered off, then hold it and press the volume down key and hold it press then power key and soon you will see the fast boot mode screen on your device the device is booted into fast boot mode now connect the cable with device and check the other side of the cable must be connected with computer usb port and soon you will see the windows will start installing the drivers if you are connecting your redmi phone for the first time with windows the android boot loader interface driver must to be installed first now it is time to go back to the downloaded folder and open the mi flash unlock folder and open the mi flash unlock software by double clicking on a click agree now you will have to sign in to your Mi account here. The one you have created in your mobile phone, the newly Mi account. You will have to sign in with your mobile SIM number and then select the country code, give your password and click the sign in. After clicking the sign in, you will see that it is checking if your Mi account has permissions. We have already did that by posting comments in two threads. And finally, the Mi Unlock software will get open. It will check your device status and will show you to unlock your phone. And you will see that the unlock will erase user data and after you unlock the device it will become less secure whatever it is but if you want to unlock the boot loader then don't care about this now before clicking the unlock option you must check that your device is connected with the data cable now click the unlock option wait for five seconds and click anyway then again wait for five seconds click the unlock anyway once again and the procedure of verifying device and then unlocking will start and you will see this message that could not unlock after 72 hours of trying to unlock this device I have faced also the same thing and please do not click or try to unlock it again after seeing this message of 72 hours now all the things went well all we have to do is to wait for three days i will come back not three but after four days to make it sure that device boot loader will definitely get unlock disconnect the cable from the device and uh, hold the device 
press the power key for 10 second and you will see your device will get reboot we'll see you again it is look like that four days gone in four second but believe me i waited for four days and finally the wait is over i came back to my computer along with my redmi 5 to do the unlocking of bootloader procedure once again and i hope that i will get it this time so before doing the procedure i'm going to check my settings then to additional settings then to the developer option to see the oem unlocking is already turned on or not yes it is on now power off the redmi 5 and we have to boot the redmi 5 into fast boot mode same procedure of booting into fast boot mode hold the device press and hold the volume down key and then power on the device and soon you will see your redmi 5 will boot it into fast boot mode now connect the cable with redmi 5 and check the other side of cable must be connected with the computer of usb port go to the mi flash unlock folder and uh, double click the mi flash software to be open agree now once again you will have to sign in here with your created mi account on the last that we created in mobile phone give your mobile phone number then select your country and give your password and click sign in same account from which we try to unlock the boot loader first from which we got the 72 hours of waiting no error we will get this time everything will be going smoothly and finally the time has come that phone is connected and we will try to unlock the boot loader this time click the unlock option wait for five seconds then click the unlock anyway you will have to wait for five seconds again then click the unlock anyway once again and the procedure will start the verifying device and then unlocking and the thing will go i hope so that yes and finally the unlocking of boot loader got successfully Congratulations to me and congratulations to you that finally we have unlocked the boot loader of the Redmi 5. Just click the reboot phone, your set will get reboot and you will see a notification on your screen every time you restart your device that the boot loader is unlocked. Now it is time to flash the custom recovery on the Redmi 5.